This is Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. Boy, are you gonna love this. This is Wretched Radio. Hold on! Oh, Film at 11. We have a breaking news story. Oh boy, the fires are getting hotter. The tensions between believers and atheists. Breaking news story from Babylon B? Sources confirmed Tuesday that local freethinker Jared Olson called into question the idea that God has ever done anything for him, all while inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. Diane has more on the story. Jared Olson attends Edmonds Community College, where we caught up with him while he was speaking to a gathered crowd about the need for, or lack thereof, God. This whole idea of God is just holding us all back. Olson said this as the membrane across his larynx vibrated to modulate the flow of air from his lungs, making his speech audible to the people listening. What's he done for you? What's he done for me? Nothing. As the people listened, their intricate air structures were instantly being transformed by the invisible sound waves uh-huh. into abstract thought in their brain's nervous tissue. Olson went on to pursue this line of reasoning further, claiming that, and I quote, mankind has science, medicine, and mathematics to thank for its continued existence rather than an all-powerful creator for which there is absolutely no evidence, end quote. According to eyewitnesses, he made these claims as the surface his feet rested on continued to spin around the Earth's core without any input from him, all while the only known habitable planet on which he stood rocketed around the center of the galaxy in perfect formation at the unfathomable rate of 490,000 miles per hour. Brady. Thanks, Diane. We understand Olson plans to detail religion's negative influence on society at a meeting next week, which is being held in the annex adjacent to both a Christian homeless shelter and a Catholic (laughs) hospital. (laughs) Babylon B. Breaking news. They've left the printed medium for... Electronic? Thank you for that, Babylon B. And now, the moment that nobody has been waiting for. You uh, perhaps are familiar with Paula White. She is the prophetess who has her church in Florida, if and I'm not mistaken. And she, I think, divorced her husband. I think. Yeah, no, she he was the pastor. Hold on, I'm going to get this. She would she was he was the pastor, she was the pastrix or something like that at any rate. They ended up getting divorced. She recovered very quickly and ended up marrying Jonathan Kane, not to be confused with Jonathan Kahn. Jonathan Kane is actually the fellow from Journey. I think he plays either does he play the piano? Neil Schoen is the guitar player. Jonathan Kane plays I think They both are. Okay, then. Guitar you know, players. you know you too much about Journey. Player. I'm a little concerned about your salvation. And at any it's rate, Jonathan came it up, and I have to keep looking it up. From Journey, married Paula White. Now, just as we feared, they would take Journey songs and turn them into worship. Lo and behold, they did. And you are about to hear Jonathan Kane play one of those worshipful tunes. Hold on, gets better. Play one of those worshipful tunes from Journey with Paula White on the Jim Baker program. We are going to share this with you for as long as we can endure. My father said, son, I've always had a vision for your career. Don't you come to Chicago. You stay there. The Lord's got plans for you. Don't stop. stop and it's a good thing i had the best old man in the world yes who never stopped believing in me yes but hold on and i've got the greatest god in the world who never stopped believing in me okay let's just stop right there and i'll just get our stomachs under control Jonathan Kane taking Journey's Don't Stop Believing and turning it somehow into a spiritual anthem now It's been a while since I've sung along to this tune back when I was a pagan. 
But let me see if I can remember the words, a testimony to the power of music. She Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. I think I've got that right. Amen. Just a small town girl. Do you think he's going to hit this note? Me neither. Living in a lonely world. You okay, Joey? That looked a little painful. Almost as painful as having to say that I was wrong. About him being the, the guitar player? Yeah, he was the piano player. That's, that's, the... that's okay, Joey. That's, that, you know, not everybody can be a talk show host and always be right. She took the midnight train going anywhere. This is not a good song, if I recall. Just sit here, boy. Uh-oh. Born the trunk. That any better for you, Joey? Uh, I mean, he hit it, but you could tell that he knew how badly he missed the first time. <laughs> okay, now tell me, what does this have to do with believing? Nothing! What's the matter, Joey? You got a grimace face going on. Oh, the crowd applauding when he just kind of mangled it. Come on, help me out. The smell of wine, the cheap perfume. For a smile, they can share the light. It goes on and on okay. and on and on. Strangers. Now, if you recall, the setup for this. The setup was my dad never stopped believing in me so I could become a member of Journey and Mary Paula White. And my father in heaven never stopped believing in me. I, I, this has nothing to do with this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Wait a second. I was talking and I actually missed that myself. You know, even though I just heard that, I kind of want to hear that again. Okay, then. Now hold on, this, this just gets worse. You can hear the people clapping. Some of them, some, look a little bit perplexed. Paula White is kind of dancing behind him, and Jim Baker looks like he wants to eat some of his stowaway food. Don't stop believing. Got the word believe in it! Hold on to that feeling, yeah. Street light, people. Oh. Okay, then, I think we get the point. What does all of this demonstrate? Well, once again, the discernment of evangelicals. It just doesn't matter. As long as it's got sort of a Christian-sounding word in it, then I guess we'll just go ahead and worship along because he gets the place clapping and singing along with this seamy tune. What else is the point of all of this? It would demonstrate that our very own Joe Selness was a bit of a prophet. Laodicea Records presents the next album in the classic rock worship series, Journey Worship. Lift your hands to heaven as you surrender to God in uh, worship, led by Journey. So Go back to your youth as Steve Perry reminds us to have faith like a child. Ecclesiastes says, oh, no. the sun rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it rises. The journey will help you to keep on believing the gospel. There it is. Come on a journey. Pick up your copy today. Uh, do we have to uh, journey worship with Jonathan Kane? Not to be confused with Jonathan Kahn, C-O-N. No, I'm sorry, that's C-A-H-N. 
He's Mr. I keep predicting things, and then when they don't come true, I just predict something else. In fact, I just saw Jonathan Kahn doing a very video trying to defend his, well, yeah, with the full moon or the, 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 the eclipse business. Okay, so Jesus didn't come back. I didn't exactly say that. It was not really what I meant to convey. Besides, it could be in seven years when Jesus returns at the next eclipse. And on and on it goes in a money-making scam. And that goes for Jonathan Kahn, Jonathan Cain, and most certainly Paula White, the pastrix of a church in Florida who don't forget, and this might be the most painful thing that you have heard in this entire miserable 11 minute long segment of Wretched Radio. She's also the spiritual advisor for the President of the United States. <laughs> Until tomorrow, go serve your king. Thanks for listening to the Wretched Segment Du Jour. If you'd like more Wretched, you can listen to the most current stream for free at wretched.tv slash listen, or you can become a club member and listen to our entire archive. Wretched, reaching the lost, equipping the saints, and strengthening the local church.